Learning from online courses is probably the most effective way of gaining a new skill or improving a current skill. Online courses can be easily consumed and they don't require a lot of effort from the student's perspective. Today, I wanted to talk about the truth of online algo trading and coding courses, if they're worth it, and some tips on how to spot good courses. I used to hate online courses. I thought they were a scam. You know, you can learn everything from Google and YouTube. So why would you pay for a course? Now that is still true. You can learn a lot for free on YouTube, Google, and the internet, but there's some benefits of courses. Usually on YouTube and Google, the free stuff, it's kind of disorganized. Sometimes topics are missed and sometimes the quality isn't there. And when you look for courses, usually it can solve those problems. Algo trading courses are going to help you in one of two ways, assuming it's a good course. Either it's going to help you become a better programmer with technical tools on how to code and how to build automated trading systems, or it's going to help you become a better algo trader with risk management and routines and processes to build great trading systems that can perform out of sample and in the real world. Now, if a, if a course is really, really good, it's going to help you become a better programmer and trader all in one. Courses will help you gain or improve a skill that will help you in the future. No, you won't become rich overnight and it's going to take time. Courses help you define and build a process, a routine to acquire some type of outcome in the future. And if you enjoy that process and enjoy that routine, usually there's a good outcome in the future. Most importantly, you need to apply your skills that you learn from these courses. Just because you finish a course doesn't really mean anything other than the certificate. Take your skills and use them in the real world. So what are some skills you could potentially learn from a good algo trading course? Starting with the basics, you will probably learn how to code in one or two languages. Depending on the course's topic, you will learn different languages. For example, if it's a trade station course, you will learn easy language, which is sort of like visual basic. If it's a ninja trader course, you will learn C sharp. And if it's a more general algo trading course, expect Python or Java. You will learn basic coding syntax, how to enter orders, cancel orders, risk management. Now those are the basic topics. For most advanced topics, you will learn how to take your idea and automate a strategy, how to add risk management on top of that strategy. And when I say risk management, you know, stop losses, pro profit targets, different position sizing, and how to test for out of sample performance and build a portfolio. You will also learn how to back test where you take a strategy idea and test it in history with a small period of time to see how it performs. Key concept is you're looking for the out of sample performance, not the in sample performance. Now, what I mean by out of sample performance, say for example, you take an idea for a strategy and you test it for a year. Maybe you test it in 2011. It does great in 2011. It returns 20%. It barely loses money. It does awesome. That's great, but that's in sample data. You took that year of 2011 and you tested it on that time. So you're aware of that data. Now, if you took that same idea, that same strategy, and tested it on a different year, say 2012 or 2013, or even this year, 2022, how did it perform then? If you see the performance increase, that means it's performing well out of sample and out of sample is new data. So if it can perform with new data, that's usually a good sign. It's a robust and strong strategy. So when you trade it live with real money, there's a higher chance that it's going to be successful. How does your strategy do in 2008 with the great financial crisis? How does it do in 2015, 2018, 2020, 2022? You need to test every single scenario and see how your strategy performs in the long run, because ideally, once you run your strategy live automated, you kind of set it and forget it. And you add new strategies, you build new portfolios. It should be able to survive in a lot of different market conditions. In algo trading courses, you'll also learn how to optimize, where you take a parameter of your strategy and you try a range of values and use the best value. For example, say one of your parameters is a profit target, right? When you initially tested your strategy, you did a $500 profit target, meaning if your strategy entered a position, once it was up $500, it would sell. What if you tried $1,000 or $2,000 or $3,000? How would it perform, right? That's what optimization is. It will try every range of values and pick the best value. Now, another key concept is you don't want to overfit. You do want to optimize, but you want to take that optimized value and test it out of sample. For example, with walk forward optimization, which is a great tool in showing if your strategy is robust or not, you can optimize for say a year and then test the next year with the optimized value. So you could optimize for 2018, test in 2019, and then you would optimize in 2019 and test in 2020, right? That's a walk forward optimization. And it's sort of like an ongoing 
current optimization that's using current market conditions for good values in the future. And if it still performs well and the performance increases with the test data from Walk Forward, that means you have higher chances of a robust strategy. You will also learn how to read metrics for performance. For example, like Sharpe Ratio, Profit Factor, Max Drawdown, Average Trade Profit. These types of metrics help you decide and filter out bad strategies. There is so much more to talk about of what I just mentioned on what you could learn from a course, but those are some of the basics on what a good, valuable course would potentially have. I personally bought two courses. One was related to algo trading and the other one was related to Python coding. And I can say they were incredibly valuable. They made me a better programmer, a better trader, and helped me a lot with risk management and developing good strategies that can succeed with out of sample performance. With that being said, I did screen and research these courses for a number of months and heavily researched the authors and instructors of the courses before buying. Definitely don't impulse buy a course. Do your research, research the instructor, research the reviews uh, and, and the content, and also really make sure you wanna learn this before you buy it. So when should you not buy a course? So firstly, do not buy a course if it's your last dollar. If you need that money to pay rent or make a car payment, do not buy that course. It's gonna be there tomorrow. It's always gonna be there online. Save your money before doing that. I've seen many horror stories of students going into debt to buy a course. Do not do that. Secondly, research the author of the course. Do they seem legitimate? Check their social media presence. You know, Do they seem sort of valuable and genuine? Are they inviting you to join their WhatsApp group? Probably don't buy the course. Does the website or their videos give you scammy vibes? Don't buy the course. Does their website seem shady and, and not secure? Don't buy the course. Are they selling you unrealistic promises and dreams? Don't buy the course. And lastly, do you actually want to learn what you're about to buy, right? A lot of people might see a course, maybe it's flashy, it's marketed really well, and they just wanna buy it because it seems sort of sexy. But do you actually wanna learn what's in the course? Do you actually wanna learn how to build automated trading systems and, and make your capital work for you? Do you actually want to learn how to code Python and make a career out of it? You know, some people are not sure and it's okay not to be sure, but really dig deep and think to yourself, Hey, do I want to learn this? Is this going to be valuable in the future? Right? And if it's not, don't buy the course. You have to really enjoy the process of whatever you're learning, right? When I'm building automated trading systems, I'm spending hours every day coding, testing, making sure the systems are running, debugging issues, right? You have to enjoy that process. I know I do. And one day there will be a better outcome in the future with you know consistent you know milestones to hit. So you have to really enjoy this process of whatever you're learning. And you know learning from a course is one way of A, learning that process and starting that process to improve or gain a new skill. Anyways, I hope you found value in this video about algo trading and programming courses. Let me know in the comments below if you learned any truths about these courses. We'll see you next week. Bye.